so uh, Mr. or Mrs. Uh, City of XYZ is going to appear in court on the oath of affirmation and going to take the stand and testify, and I saw I could cross-examine the harm and injured party, because I've been trying to compensate Mr. or Mrs. X Y City of XYZ, and they, they never, you know, I'm tendering them all kinds of offers, but they're never accepting anything, and then I'm trying to settle a matter on the private side, but they refuse to uh, respond. How do you want me to? How do you want me to settle a matter if they refuse to respond to any of my offers for compensation of any harm or any injury? Of, of course, Mr. or Mrs. City of XYZ. There you go. Yeah. Have you tried to settle a matter on the private side? Did you tender an offer to uh, City of XYZ? Well, oh, isn't that the the, the uh, letter that I was just talking about that I'd like to get from you? <laughs> well, what well, that is more of a that is that is not a settlement on the private side. First, you tender an offer to the to the to the, the party that's claimed that's doing you harm. You say, you know, "Greetings, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Uh, City of XYZ. I've never been formally introduced, so I'm just you know Mr. Slash Mrs. XYZ. You know, City XYZ. I believe that there's a claim before the court that I've caused you harm or injury. You know, may you please tender me a bill of particulars and itemize the the the, uh, the damages that my acts did or did not do to your person. Thank you sincerely, Mr. And I forgot your name." <laughs> Robert, okay. There you go, Robert. There you go. Now you recorded the show. I'm recording it. Whatever. You just uh, don't ask me to repeat it. It's <laughs> because I probably do it wrong. <laughs> but when I say it, sometimes, boy, it comes out good. And then just uh, right, so you submit this letter with the bill of particulars first. Yep, you demand a bill of particulars. That's right, exactly. And then they're not. They're probably not going to respond. And then that's when you come out with the the letter Jeez. of the fair warning. I can cease and desist. I said, since you have, you know, the, I still see that it's on a docket that uh, Mr. or Mrs. City of uh, XYZ is still trying to believe that they're going to move a claim, and I tried to settle on our private side. Obviously, you know, that uh, you have no intent on selling this matter, on, you know, honorably, under good faith, under, you know, in negotiation with me. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, any further, uh, you know, uh, communications with me would I be deemed as, uh, you know, harmful to my person. Okay. And if you and you insist on, you know, I see it on a docket tomorrow, I'm going to file a claim against you for filing a false claim. But I, there is no injured party. Nobody will testify in the open court on the oath of affirmation. And like I said, in the, way, in the way you stylize it, you make sure you make your own claim. And I always show people how to keep common law. Don't use silly stuff. Don't just say plaintiff and, and your name. No, just say, hey, man, colon, put your name in there. Prosecutor. That's all. You yeah. say, hey, man, Colin, Robert, you want to put your last name in there? Put your last name in there. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Just say, hey, man, Colin, Robert, prosecutor, versus or just a straight line and put, you know, city of XYZ and wrongdoer, make your claim. I tried to, you know, they're trying to you know, administrate my property without rights, which means they're trying to take money away from you or order you to do so and put you in a cage. They're trying to personally, you know, take your possession of your property, which is your body. And uh, there's no claim before the court. They file. They make. They file. They, uh, there's a false claim, you know, in a traffic court, you know, and uh, they. Uh, and you file it in any local. Yeah. 